MCX IPF presents Commodities Trade. The U.S. Fed Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said they might start to reduce the monthly bond buying program of $120 billion a month as labor and housing data shows economy gaining pace, but will not rush to hike interest rates. As gold is traded against U.S. dollar, the announcement has had supportive impact on gold. The prices have had a great week price-wise with near $100 per ounce of a jump. So far this year, though the gold prices are in negative by 5%, but the annual average price of gold has been increasing every year since 2015. Gold put in a best yearly gain in a decade in 2020. We saw prices gain up by nearly 30%. And this also is a year when the gold prices hit all-time highs in near 70 currencies. As you can see on the chart, barring three years in the past decade, gold has given positive return and the current year is still four months to go. Over the past five years, gold has increased over 32%. The last 15 years have seen the yellow metal gain over 187% and in last 20 years, 533% of gains. The gold's value holding ability, many central banks' balance sheets show that they hold almost one-fifth of the world's supply of above-ground gold. Central banks have been net buyers of gold since around 2010 and it doesn't look like they will stop buying anytime soon. The India's Reserve Bank also has bought most gold ever in the first half of 2021. RBI started buying in 2019 after a pause of nearly a decade and the current holdings by end of June stand at a tall 705 tons. If RBI is buying, shouldn't you? Gold can not only be an effective diversifier but also enhance returns. From March 2000 to March 2021, gold has generated annualized returns of over 19%. Adjusted for inflation, that stands at 14.7% annualized. The new investors are less interested in physical gold investment and more on to online. Thanks to financial innovations over the years, there are many ways to get exposure to gold. You can trade gold for a small margin on futures and options. Gold ETFs and gold bonds are doing incredibly well too. And there is a lot to look forward in the space. After setting India good delivery and hallmarking, now India is readying for international bullion exchange launch at Gift City on 1st of October. According to the authorities, the exchange ecosystem is expected to bring all the market participants at a common transparent platform for bullion trading and providing an efficient price discovery, assurance in the quality of gold, enable greater integration with other segments of financial markets and help establish India's position as a dominant trading hub. MCX IPF presents Commodities Trade. Brought to you by MCX IPF.